A new solar system, an evil galaxy, and a selfie that's really out of this world. We've got a good one today, folks. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 bizarre space photos captured by telescopes. Kicking off the list at number 10, James Webb Selfie. We'll kick this bizarre space list off with a space selfie, of course. The James Webb Space Telescope launched December 25th, 2021, so yeah, it was pretty recent. This thing is a game changer, truly. NASA's latest and greatest space telescope can observe infrared astronomy, and it's 100 times more powerful than the previous Hubble telescope. Although he's pretty good too, he's got some bangers in this list as well, he's got some good snapshots. We're about to see some stuff, basically. They're literally calling this thing a time machine. Blake Bullock, astrophysicist and director at Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems and contractor of the project, says it's the biggest, most powerful telescope in space ever. Webb can literally look back into time further than Hubble could. Hubble could see galaxies that were well on their way, but with Webb, we'll be able to detect the earliest objects in the universe. But first, let me take a selfie. About a million miles from Earth in a pocket between Earth and the Sun called L2, where the gravity between both the two are balanced, James Webb is stuck, essentially. He's just stuck floating in space in between both of these gravity fields. And he has the courage to take a selfie. What a brave young little soldier. It was a dead-on photo too, right? Not like an angle from above, it was like one of those boom selfies. Like a dad's Facebook profile photo, you know, like one of those selfies. We also have the second photo that James Webb took, but you know, I'm gonna save that for number one. Number nine, Pluto. Remember when we just kicked out a planet? Yeah, just see ya. My entire life growing up, I had to remember this nine word jingle, and now Pluto's gone all of a sudden, and the whole thing is screwed. My very evil mother just served us nasty pancakes. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Now we have no idea what evil mother is dishing out. Pluto's gone. Now we have eight planets. Gone, but not forgotten, Pluto. We're still watching you from afar. Before 2015, every picture that we had of the dwarf planet was grainy. It was like a blackberry curve where you click it and it makes the sound like, you're like, oh, didn't even sound good. But July 2015, thanks to the New Horizons spacecraft, Pluto got a glow up. We also got a close up image of Pluto's surface. It looks like a lovely time. It's nice and calming and relaxing. 12,000 foot tall ice mountains, just a good time. Compared to Australia, honestly, Pluto does seem a lot smaller. It looks like a planet to me still, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a little guy on a bigger planet. Number eight. 20 year time lapse. I'll time lapse something for absolutely no reason. I'll just set my phone up and watch icicles melt and I'm like, mm, this is gonna look good in seven hours. This next one, I had to triple check to make sure it was even real. This is mind blowing. Back in 2018, the European Southern Observatory released their own time lapse. This one has been running for about 20 years and it's images of M87. And they've been showing a slow change to the center of our galaxy around Sagittarius A. This GIF shows the movement of stars around a black hole over 20 years. Yeah, seeing this makes me feel uneasy. This observation reinforces Einstein's theory of gravity. One of these stars is orbiting the black hole at 3% the speed of light. That's really fast. Ugh, it just looks like bloop, bloop. I don't like that. I feel like I can't breathe looking at that. Oh, it's called anxiety. It's a panic attack. Number seven, the evil eye galaxy. I'm pretty sure Thanos lives here, but all right, let's talk about it. The evil eye galaxy, or the Sleeping Beauty galaxy, or if you're a nerd, M64, might be one of the coolest space photos of all time. This looks like something out of a Thor movie. Gas on the inner galaxy rotates in one direction. You can tell this thing is spinning just by looking at it. That's the beauty of it. But the outer layer, however, that's spinning in the opposite direction. That's why it's on our list here today. This is odd behavior for a galaxy. Scientists theorize that the evil eye galaxy is the result of two galaxies smashing into each other. The fascinating thing really here is that we're looking at something 17 million light years away. So this image of the galaxy, the evil eye galaxy, is actually from a very long time ago. From like when Neanderthals were still on Earth. You know what I mean? That's mind bending. That's why James Webb is such a big deal. We're gonna see very far into our past. It's gonna get pretty ugly. It's like, is that a dinosaur? What? Number six, another interstellar object. We've mentioned Oumuamua on this channel before. Oumuamua was the first ever interstellar object to be recorded into our solar system. Back in 2017, this cigar-shaped comet was the first ever interstellar asteroid detected by humans. But cut to November 2019, Hubble Space Telescope found another one. Traveling at over 100,000 miles per hour, again, pretty fast. This interstellar comet was born from another star, so it's only just passing by, just for a hot minute, just saying hello, just came by to say hi, peace and leave. Look at this photo, I feel like I'm underwater or aliens are just passing through this cosmic neighborhood. There's something eerie about this. It looks so empty. I love seeing stuff about space, but it also makes me feel like I can't breathe. So 
How exciting is that? Number five, a new solar system. So when I say an interstellar comet from another star, you know, she goes to another school, <laughs> this is what I'm referring to. Back in 2014, the Radio Alma Observatory in Chile got a pretty remarkable image. This is a star roughly 450 light years away, and right off the bat, it looks different. It looks like a planet from Star Wars that just got obliterated by the Empire in the dark side. But in fact, it's only just begun its space days. This is a brand new solar system, people. Look at this. It's a baby. Planets are literally forming as the dust literally settles. So many comets are now hurling through space because of events like this. That's why when we get the odd interstellar visitor, we're trying to study everything we can as fast as we can. Because this thing's like, like, ah, it was blue. I think it was blue. I don't know. Did anyone get that? Number four, Neo wise. I looked in the sky everywhere for this thing, but I could not see it. I look like a crazy person, climbing bridges, looking up, making wishes and sh**. If you were able to see the comet Neo eyes with your own Neo eyes, I don't know, I tried something. Consider yourself lucky. If you didn't get to see it, well, that's why I'm here. When the Hubble telescope took a glance at the passing comet in August 2020, even though it's 27 million miles away, NASA still learned a few things. The comet's coma, the cloud of dust in the gas that follows behind Neo eyes, had never been seen this close before. NASA was able to determine the nucleus of the comet was still being held together, which was pretty shocking considering how close it got to our own sun. Comets are already fragments from our past. These icy leftovers from when the solar system first formed, like what I just mentioned, and it's now on its way back to the outer solar system, but next time, next time we'll catch it. Next time I'll see you with my own eyes. Just kidding, it won't be back for another 6,800 years. If you missed it, Zero chances ever again. You missed it. Number three, the sun. While it's not recommended that we stare at it, the sun is pretty beautiful. <laughs> Haven't seen or felt it up here in Canada for a while, but when it's around, it's pretty lovely. I'm so pale, I feel so pale. Photographer Andrew McCarthy layered together 150,000 different photos of the sun to create this 300 megapixel image for us to now awe at. I tried to load it on my phone and I literally felt my phone get warmer. I was trying to load it. I'm like, man, this is a great photo. I can actually feel it. I can feel the sun on my face through the photo. How is this possible? iPhone 8 Plus, I'm like, oh, that's why it's possible. It's not working anymore. I'm like, hello, Mr. Sun, hi. In order to not go blind or light any fires, Andrew required a special telescope with numerous filters. So if you're thinking of pointing your phone through a telescope and just pointing at the sun and looking through or whatever, just don't. That's why these guys do it. So we don't have to. Number two, the first black hole. Back in 2019, over 200 scientists from over 20 different countries all put their big scientist brains together in order to get the first photo of a black hole. We've seen them in movies. I mean, the movie Interstellar almost gave me a panic attack. A panic attack in IMAX. Lovely. But this is real life, so it's not as glorious, but it's definitely twice as impressive. The science involved here to even make this possible is mind-bending. Right at the center of M87, the galaxy just, you know, a mere 55 million light years away, this black hole has been ripping apart anything in sight in a galaxy in the Virgo cluster. It's far, far away, don't worry. We're not gonna, you know, turn into spaghetti anytime soon, we're good. But how in the world did scientists even get a photo of something that sucks in light? How does this make sense? The Event Horizon Telescope, is how. The Event Horizon Telescope shows us the dark center, and it's this hole that swallows up matter, of course, and it looks like a ring that you can maybe look around almost. But the light that we see here in this photo, these radio waves that are represented, that's coming from all around the black hole, behind it, in front of it, the sides. It would actually be impossible to see with our naked eye, of course. But after a team made a virtual telescope the size of the Earth, a virtual telescope that's the size of the, yep, you got me, they were now able to see the radiation surrounding this black hole. This is something we barely understand in the science world, and the fact that we can see a blurry photo is more than we deserve. I think I see Matthew McConaughey in the bottom right there, that little, that little blur. I think that's him. I think he's yelling Murph as loud as he can into a spacesuit for some reason. And finally, coming in at number one, James Webb's first photo. Okay, are we ready? This is it. He took another photo. He took a selfie, and then he flipped it, reversed that camera, bam. What did we get? He may have left our world on Christmas Day 2021, but James Webb has finally sent us a Christmas gift. A little late, but we'll gladly accept it. After getting settled for 48 days, literally just unfolding himself in space like a cold, tired transformer, just winding up a camera slowly for 48 days, James Webb finally sent back a photo of a distant star. Upon first glance, it looks like a cluster of stars, you know, like you accidentally hit space mode on Google Earth and you're like, what, where am I? This is actually the same star 18 times. The 18 hexagonal segments haven't aligned yet. That's a process that'll take months, but during this daunting task, NASA will test out these blurry, ugly images. I don't think ugly, like they're calling it blurry or ugly. It's like pizza, good, bad, blurry, cold. It's all great, we love it all. 
show us all the space photos. Come the end of April, however, that's when these pics will start changing the game. The James Webb Telescope is 100 times more powerful, it detects infrared, and we'll be able to see exoplanets. Also, if there's any oceans out there, we'll be able to search for atmospheres. This telescope is the universe's greatest spy, essentially. So make sure you're subscribed, hit those notifications, space pics are gonna be coming in hot. Let's do it. Guys, those are the top 10 bizarre space photos captured by telescopes. If you want a part two, I'll gladly dive in. Part three, I'm already on my way, let's do it. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Peace. Number nine. I <laughs> keep seeing your head pop up. Come a tiny bit, I'm thinking you're fucking light. Really? Oh, there we go. There you go. Okay, cool. I see you, see you pop up and I'm like, yo, this guy's f***ing, I was like, your ass on fire, what's going on? He's like, ants.